Zero Project Conference 2023, using technologies to understand and be understood. Simple and easy language is a key strategy for inclusion in society. In the session entitled Using Technology to Understand and Be Understood, we heard from companies and organizations that use simple language in self-advocacy, in the use of AI, and also in the use of co-designing methods to help achieve that end. Access Easy English presented by Kathy Basterfield, founder. Access Easy English from Australia interprets written content into simple everyday language and supports it with pictures. Access Easy English does this using Easy English, which incorporates principles of universal design and, unlike Easy Read, is accessible to a wider group of people with intellectual disabilities. Access Easy English also offers courses in Easy English. So there is no standards when you look at developing easy to read uh, information, written information. There's no standards at a country level, there's no standards internationally. Uh, there's a little bit of research that talks about easy read um, and the challenges about what that really looks like. When we looked at our analysis, easy English uh, comes in at an average of zero to grade three reading level with an average of grade two. Easy read comes in at an average of grade three to grade 10 with an average of grade five reading level. That's quite a significant difference for skilled reading. Uh, so we work um, based in Australia, my team all work virtually. We work in all states of Australia. We work with federal um, as well as state. Uh, we work with governments and not-for-profits. We're doing some work in Asia Pacific um, and we've started to reach out into the Americas um, and get inquiries from America as uh, North America as well. Happy to talk to anyone about the training we do or creating projects that are in easy English. As Simple As That, presented by Tammy Margalit, co-founder. As Simple As That, ASAT is a startup company from Israel that has developed an AI-based technology that automatically reduces the structural complexity of content, videos, voice, websites. It does this in an attempt to preserve its meaning and information content. The service was launched in 2022 and helps content providers and publishers increase their market share and profitability and gain a competitive advantage in the market. We believe that the service providers, such as websites, governments, TV, entertainment, everyone should have our, our service that everybody can consume their uh, content. Everybody will have a small button on, on the website and the, every user can press the button and automatically the content will be simplified online and real time. We use AI and machine learning to train our machine uh, based on easy read rules to simplify our, the text. Um, we train our machines separately for each uh, sector language, like bank language or insurance language or health language. Every language will be trained separately. Capito, presented by Klaus Kandusi, co-founder and senior director, internationalization. Capito has been working for more than 20 years to make information understandable for everyone and translates language into three different easy to understand levels. This experience, combined with algorithms and AI, led to the development of the Capito Writing Assistant, which is offered as a software as a service. A German version was available in 2023. Also in 2023, a second tool for automatic text simplification was in the works. Human expertise is crucial for whatever we do at Atempo or Capito. What we learned in the past is that we have to develop solutions not for people with disabilities, but with people with disabilities. And that's the same if you develop digital tools, if you develop software. So in the work of Capito, we involve people with learning disabilities to make really solutions they fit to their needs. St. John of God Liffey Services presented by Sarah Gabra Boland, Digital Assistive Technology Facilitator and Patrick Fitzgerald, Digital Accessible Co-Designer. The Co-Design Toolkit of St. John of God Liffey Service 
SJOG, from Ireland enables people with intellectual disabilities to co-create mobile apps that support their daily lives. Launched in 2016, the co-design program had 70 participants and more than 30 apps being developed by 2022. Hi, my name is Patrick. I like co because I like helping other people with disability to build their own apps. Our self-advocates have been leaders in ensuring that we are doing co-design, really inclusive co-design. We've been really fortunate to be rolling out a number of co-design projects with TU Dublin for the last eight years where we're co-designing accessible apps. And also more recently, we are working on European projects like the Right to Connect Now and the AT Passport, where we're working with three other disability organisations to co-design an accessible AT Passport to give people with disabilities access to all of their information around the assistive technology they need to live independently. Session summary by Thomas Butcher, Zero Project. The innovative solutions that we heard about ranged from co-design of apps for iPads and other handheld devices, through to self-advocacy, and then the use of artificial intelligence to create simple language translations of things which are far from simple. All these will help to provide people with the ability to communicate and be communicated with and help inclusion.